visit trb.fyi slash disclaimers for a full disclaimer and liability notice. When handling or working on firearms, safety should always be first. Visit trb.fyi for the full article of tools that we used in the 92, 96, and M9 video series. To assemble the magazine catch assembly, we'll need the long bushing, the short bushing, the magazine catch spring, and the magazine release. Place the bushings onto the end of the spring. When installing the spring assembly, the short bushing will go away from the button or towards the palm of the shooter. Insert the long bushing into the magazine release. Lightly bend the spring and insert the short bushing. Now push down on the spring to snap everything into place. For this step, we'll need the magazine release assembly and your frame. The bushings are going to have to grab these ledges inside your frame. Insert the magazine release button first from the opposite side of the frame. Tip it down so the long bushing will grab the groove inside the frame. Once it grabs, continue to push until the back side of the magazine release clears the frame. Once it's clear, Release the spring tension. For left-handed shooters, follow the same procedure, only coming from the other side of the frame. For this step, we'll need the ejector and the ejector spring pin. We will install the ejector pointed end forward into this slot in the top of the frame. Insert the ejector into the slot until the two sets of holes are aligned. Now lightly tap the ejector spring pin into the rear hole. The ejector spring pin is fully installed when it's slightly below the surface on both sides. For this step, we'll need our hammer release lever, our firing pin block lever, and our hammer release lever pin. Note that the pin has a larger head on one side. Insert the small end of the pin into the left side of the frame on the front hole of the ejector. Continue installing the pin until it clears the next surface by just a little bit.
Install the hammer release lever with the curved arm up and pointing to the rear onto the pin. Push the pin in a little bit to capture it. Now insert the firing pin block lever with the bent foot coming through the upper magazine well window. Align the holes so that the pin will come completely through. Insert a 1 16th inch starter punch into the hole to keep everything aligned. Now rotate the frame and finish the install of the pin with a nylon head hammer. With a 1 16th inch punch, finish installing the pin until it's slightly below the surface. For this step, you'll need your sear, sear spring, and sear pin. When installed into the frame, the sear spring will have the short leg rest in this notch on the sear. The sear gets installed in this cutout in the back of the magwell. To start, insert a 3 seconds inch punch into the sear pin hole on the left hand side of the frame. Insert the sear into the upper magwell window on the right hand side of the frame. The sear will go in flat side forward and the hole in the lower part. Install the sear onto your punch. Now replace your punch with the sear pin. Do not completely install the pin into the frame. With the sear in place, insert the spring short end up. Now position the spring so that the loop is in line with the sear pin hole and the sear pin. With everything aligned, push down with a punch and finish installing the sear pin. For this step, we'll need our hammer, hammer strut, and hammer pivot pin. When installed, the hammer strut will sit in a groove in the hammer. We will insert the hammer strut into the top of the frame and down through the hole where the main spring will be installed in a later step. Insert the long end of the hammer strut down into the hole and the short end facing to the rear. Insert your hammer into the rear of the frame so that the holes align. Now insert your hammer pin so that it holds the hammer in place. With the hammer installed, we can now test the sear to make sure that everything is working fine.
For this step, you'll need your hammer strut guide, hammer strut guide pin, and mainspring. This is what the assembly looks like when installed into the frame. Before beginning, make sure the hammer is in the forward position. Install the mainspring onto the hammer strut. When installed correctly, the spring should be forward of the pinhole. Insert your hammer strut guide into the hole in the bottom of the frame. Push up on the hammer strut guide until the holes align, and then use a 3 seconds inch punch to hold it in place. Now slowly replace the punch with a hammer strut guide pin. For this step, you'll need your trigger, trigger pivot pin, trigger bar, trigger spring, and trigger bar spring. Insert your trigger into the top of the frame until the bottom hole of the trigger aligns with the trigger pivot pin hole. Note that the trigger pivot pin has a large head on one side. Insert the trigger pivot pin so that it captures the trigger. For this next step, we'll work on the right side of the frame. The round pin of the trigger bar will go into the top hole of the trigger. The squared off pin of the trigger bar will go between the sear and the hammer strut. Place the pin of the trigger bar onto the trigger and test to see that it moves. Now seat the trigger bar into the hole in the back of the frame. The trigger bar spring will be installed into the frame so it looks like a W. One wing of the trigger bar spring will rest on top of the trigger bar pin that went into the top hole of the trigger while the loop of the trigger bar spring will be held in place by the trigger bar pivot pin. Insert the spring into the frame. Now push down on the coil of the spring so that the trigger pivot pin can pass through it. Now we can install the trigger bar spring. The long bent leg of the trigger bar spring will fit into a hole in the frame. Insert this leg into the frame. The other leg of the spring will ride in this groove on the bottom of the trigger bar. Compress the spring slightly so that you can fit it into the groove. The loop of the spring will rest in this slot on the frame. Press upwards on the spring so that you can put it into the slot. For this step, you will need your slide stop spring and your slide stop. Install the spring loop side up with the short leg resting on the groove on the top of the slide stop.
The bent leg of the spring will go into a hole just above the trigger pivot pin. Insert the bent leg of the spring into the hole just above the trigger pivot pin so that it passes completely through. This bent leg of the spring retains the trigger pivot pin. Insert the pin of the slide stop into the hole in the frame. And slowly rotate upwards until it can be fully seated into the frame. For this step, you'll need your disassembly spring, disassembly latch button, and disassembly latch. We will be installing the spring and the button on the right side of the frame. Insert the spring into the small hole. Insert the button into the hole next to the spring so that the long leg goes forward and covers the spring. Test that the button moves freely. You may have to twist it to make sure it fits into the recess in the frame. After you're sure that everything moves freely, keep the button held fully in so that we can install the latch. We will install the latch on the left side of the frame in the big hole. Insert the latch into the frame with the leg facing straight up. Once the latch is fully inserted into the frame, rotate it to the rear and then release the button. For this final step, we're going to need our two grip panels, four lock washers, and four grip screws. On the frame, there are two grip screw bushings. One is above the magwell window, and the other is below the magwell window. Align the holes of the grip panel onto the bushings. Insert your lock washers into the holes of the grip panel. Now install your screws into the grip screw bushings. Tighten the screws only until they're snug. Damage will occur if you over tighten the grip screws. Repeat the process on the other side of the frame. Consider supporting us on Patreon or use our affiliate links on our webpage to help us produce more quality content. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. It helps us more than you realize. Thank you for watching. Visit trb.fyi for additional content on this video. You can also support us on Patreon and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.